to the first series of 2013. This is our January Baldwin and Blue series. I'm Ross. And I'm Sarah. And uh, so today we started with Silly Walking, which I don't think we need to recap. We know. Okay. But so building up our ballroom in uh, basic, we started with walks. So we started just with normal walking. Um, and we started layering the aspects of our, of our uh, stepping. So we're walking through our foot. So I'm rolling the heel, um, keeping my hips back, uh, my shoulders down and back. My weight is slightly forward on the balls of my feet, almost a little bit of an angle, so I'm stepping very confidently forward. We also added an up pulse on every beat. And the way I described it is you're hitting the, the beat with your head. So in Lindy, we often hit the beat with our butt, but here we're hitting it with our head. Uh, we also layered in uh, contra body motion, or CBM, and it's uh, a very natural thing the body does as we walk. We kind of have this alternating um, arm over leg, and we're just taking that, alter that alternation and uh, twisting over our forward leg. So as I step forward, I have a little bit twist in the upper body, and that's coming from the torso. So whether we're going forward or back, we have this twist in our body. And uh, everything I just talked about for walking forwards applies to going backwards. The only difference being we want to make sure we're maintaining our weight forward as we move. And so even when I'm stepping backward, I still have this forward weight. OK, and then we put this all together, and we started in closed position. And we're focusing on connecting inward, and so for me, I'm connecting with Ross's shoulder, and he's connecting with my side and the hand here. So everything we talked about earlier, uh, moving into our partnership. Um, we can also, since we're concentrating more on the connection here, I can do this without the hand on the back. Because Sarah is seeking the connection. And showing the other side. He's still connected with my side. But I'm not relying by holding your back. Uh, and a comment for follows, you want to have, you want to maximize connection here, so if the lead's a lot taller than you, you don't need to reach his shoulder, you want to be connecting with his arm. And we want to have our head inward, so if it's out, then we're disconnecting a little with our partner. And so depending on height, you might just look over the lead shoulder, or you can turn your head. Uh, moving into close embrace. Um, so we started with just a nice relaxed hug. And then lean straighten up. And so our arm from the hug is still the most way around the follows back. But the arm is very relaxed and we're still seeking connection inward. And so my hips are back, so this is still that forward looking feel. And uh, this hand. It's relaxed. I'm not pushing out to the side. It's about even with my shoulder and about the shot follow shoulder height. Okay, and then we talked about turns. So for these in class, we um, we're talking about I'm stepping under myself. So if we have our little square on the floor, I am stepping forward and under under my shoulders. Yeah, and so our feet are offset. So we didn't mention this at the beginning, but. The way we're connecting, our feet are offset and our, our left feet are on the outside, so we maintain this in the circle and we want to pivot around our central axis, our shared axis. We can speed this up. And we didn't get into the technique in speeding it up, but you feel free to ask us about it and let me talk about it later. Yep. Uh, last thing we did was playing with rhythm. So for much of the class, when we were building up the basics and walking, we were stepping on every beat. So, ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da. Um, one thing we did to change, um, we asked you to come up with different rhythms that you had in class. So we might do um, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. slow. Quick, slow, quick, slow. Um, any combination like that, stepping once, stepping twice, um, feel free to experiment, do what the music tells you. 
or the music in your head tells you. Um, I think that wraps it up. That's all. Yeah, you guys did a great job in this very long, very long class. marathon class. Yeah. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you next week for more Ballroom Blues.